Praise Spartan. What's up guys, Crazed here with a quick gameplay here for you, and I'm playing with a couple friends of mine, of course, and we're playing Griffball on Halo 5, and because, man, these Griffball maps are amazing. I'm sorry, but they're quite inventive, and I love them. I really do. I think, uh, I think we really could use some of that imagination in some of the other maps that we have in the other playlists, but that's not what I'm talking about today. Now, what I do want to discuss is ranks ranks i want to talk about that and not like like do we need them do we don't need them i absolutely feel we need them uh, straight out i think they need to be in halo um from day one absolutely need to be there and i do believe we have to have that separation between ranked and social uh playlist absolutely that needs to be there but that's not kind of what i wanted to talk to you today i was thinking about because I got into a little discussion with Josh Menke, and I think we probably disagree on a little something here. Uh, I talked to him a little bit about the ranking system that Halo 5 currently has and how I kind of miss the 1 through 50. And it's kind of interesting. Uh, and I kind of want your guys' opinion. That's why I kind of want this out there. And I want you to share your opinion uh, down below uh, on this. I really do. Um, which type of ranking system do you like? Do you like the Halo 5 ranking system? And a brief description of it. Uh, the ranking system goes something like this, and I'm sure there's a lot more numbers to it than I'm currently going to tell you. However, for me, uh, the ranking system is you play your 10 matches, then you receive your rank. Now, how you receive your rank depends on how you did in those 10 matches, and usually about 5 or 6 matches in, you start to get to a little bit more even matches. Uh, at least I think so. Um, that's been my experience. However, when you receive your rank, it takes into account your past season and it adds that into it. And again, I don't know how the numbers work out, but I just know that's what it does. So if you played really well last season and you do okay or you do pretty decent in your ranking, you're going to rank a little higher. Uh, or if you play really poorly in your last season, I mean, and then you try and you do really good in uh, this season, you know, your 10 ranking matches, you start, you place a little lower. At least I think that's how it works. Um, it just, it's kind of frustrating, I think, at some points because uh, the Smurf epidemic is real. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, the Smurf account is real, where they make a brand new account for free on Xbox Live, share it with the main account on their own Xbox, and basically manipulate the ranking systems as much as possible. The, the way I tell the most that these are happening is because they got a low Spartan rank, then you check their gamer score, and it's like 100, maybe even less than that. And he's like, yeah, that's a Smurf account. And I don't know about you guys, but I run across Smurf accounts all the time. Now, Josh says it doesn't really happen. It's not really a factor. I would tend to disagree on that, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just really unlucky. So, on to the next thing I want to talk about is the 1 through 50 ranking system. Now, that is, of course, you start at level 1, and you go all the way up until you can't really go up anymore, or you get better, and you start winning more matches. Of course, when you play with friends, uh, that definitely improves your chances of going up. But, for me, I definitely prefer the 1 through 50. I don't like the placement matches. I really don't care for those, even though it is a fairly decent ranking system, and Halo 5's ranking system does a good job more or less especially when we had more population nowadays probably not so much because the population just is not there and there's nothing that's going to change that at this point however when i'm playing and i like to see progression i do and i like to see it's like i ranked up in this playlist uh, if i'm playing team slayer and I, I get rather than just getting placed into a match I see my level go up. It goes from one to two, and two to three, you know, and so on and so forth, up to where, you know, I start really evening out. Um, that I really love to see. 
when I just play 10 matches and I'm placed in a rank, it just kind of takes all that fun out of it because you're going to go up, you're going to go down a little bit here and there. Uh, but overall, you're going to be kind of staying right where you're at. Um, the only time I've ever seen any major changing uh, in your ranking system is if you are playing solo when you get ranked and then you play with the teammates when you are already ranked and then your score will go up or down of course depending on your teammates but usually if you're playing with teammates your score actually will go up because you're, you're talking to each other you're playing together and you're winning more so your score goes up or your rank goes up that's the only time I ever see any real change and to me that's just not fun or entertaining so that's my thoughts on that guys I'd love to hear your guys opinions if I get enough opinions, I may even make a second video to this. But well, that's it for now. This is Crazed. I'm out of here.